Hello, today we continue our daily reading of the Word coming from the book of Psalm, chapter 39. As always stated to prior to reading, um, get to a church that has Bible study or Sunday school so that you can have the Word broken down and shared with you for an easier understanding. Also, get with some friends who break bread and share the Word and get some understanding from amongst one another. I'll get you a Bible that you can read. There are numerous verses from King James to NIV. It one that best suits you, but most importantly, and above all the things I've said, call upon the Lord. If you knock at his door, he will answer and fill you up with wisdom if that is what you seek. Amen. Psalm chapter 39 reads as follows. I said, I will watch my ways and keep my tongue from sin. I will put a muzzle on my mouth while in the presence of the wicked. So I remained utterly silent, not even saying anything good. But my anguish increased, my heart grew hot within me, while I meditated the fire burned, then I spoke with my tongue. Show me, Lord, my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting my life is. You have made my days a mere hand breath, and the span of my years is nothing before you. Everyone is but a breath, even those who seem secure. Surely everyone goes around like a mere phantom. In vain they rush about, heaping up wealth without knowing whose it will finally be. But now, Lord, what do I look for? My hope is in you. Save me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the scorn of fools. I was silent. I would not open my mouth, for you are the one who has done this. Remove your scourge from me. I am overcome by the blow of your hand. When you rebuke and discipline anyone for their sin, you consume their wealth like a moth. Surely everyone is but a breath. Hear my prayer, Lord. Listen to my cry for help. Do not be deaf to my weeping. I dwell with you as a foreigner, a stranger, as all my ancestors were. Look away from me that I may enjoy life again before I depart and am no more. Psalm chapter 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mirror. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see the, and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not look for the proud. To those who turn aside to false gods, Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done, the excuse me, things you planned for us. None can compare with you. Were I to speak and tell you of your deeds, they would be too many to declare. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but my ears you have opened. Burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not require. Then I said, Here I am, I have come, it is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your will, my God. Your law is within my heart. I proclaim your saving acts in the great assembly. I do not seal my lips, Lord. As you know, I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and your saving help. I do not conceal your love and your faithfulness from the great assembly. Do not withhold your mercy from me, Lord. May your love and faithfulness always protect me. For troubles without number surround me. My sins have overtaken me and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs on my head, and my heart falls within me, fails within me. Be pleased to save me, Lord. Come quickly, Lord, to help me. May all who want to take my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say to me, aha, aha, be appalled at their own shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who long for your saving help always say, The Lord is great, but as for me, I am poor and needy. May the Lord think of me. You are my help and my deliverer. You are my God. Do not delay. Amen.